You are now listening to the West Side of T H A AfterParty.com. Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy Honey P with my boy Brandon Black. Yeah. Check us out every Sunday from 5 to 6 on Hood Humor. Yo, B, tell them what they can expect. Tune in for comedy skits, prank calls, and our hilarious hood opinions on news and entertainment. You think it, and we say it. We'll see you at the party. If not, we're going to turn our back on you like a bad father. Drake, Drake she like, he's good. <laughs> Oh, man. Yo, we are back on another Sunday. We live. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got on this whack ass Celtics jersey. Because the Celtics are creeping into the playoffs. No, I ain't going to say creeping in. We're going in the playoffs at the what fourth seed. Oh, man, I'm ready. Hey, man, stand up for Boston, well, man. Brandon Black, 100P, and we got a special guest here today. Why don't you introduce yourself, brother, to the people? All right. How you doing, people? Dennis Horton, teacher, community activist. Dennis Horton, teacher and community activist. He educate you, and then he going to educate you on activism. There you go. There you go. And so the community. You, and the community. You educating all the way around. All the way around. And, and speaking of educating, we just had a, a, a humorous, educated moment where we were talking about Dwayne Wade and his wife. It was just, it's just a little <laughs> laugh that was going on, you know. He, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's no secret that his wife said that she goes down and tosses his salad, you know? And it's like, okay, what you do with your wife is your business. You know, that's your business. But it's like when you go to the tabloids and media talking about you do something like that, it's like, oh, all right. And that's bragging rights. Yeah, that's, you got that's a wife a that has freak. no limits, you're supposed to be happy. Now, if she was a stripper <laughs> in the club, you'd have issues. It's Man, different, huh? Yeah, because <laughs> you don't know how often she brushes her teeth between clients, so... <laughs> That, that, that's just like even speaking of uh, a media, DJ Envy, you know, we all listen to The Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out to all them over there. And it was just funny. Somebody questioned him. And maybe it was an old clip of, you know, his, <laughs> it was a rumor that his wife puts things in his but like really? real though, he's like, no, 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 no. He said, I'm going to keep it real though, but she's put a finger up there before. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say if it was hers? I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, what, what the hell is going on nowadays, man? Hey, I, I think he had to do whatever she uh, wanted to do because he got go. caught cheating and shit. Oh, uh, yeah, he had to thumb. make it up. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, he had to make it up. Absolutely. Yeah. So she was probably like, I want to try this. You're trying it. He was like, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm man. not even 40 yet. <laughs> That's crazy. Like I said, as y'all know, man, it's a lot of, not just in L.A., it's a lot of stuff going on everywhere. You know, you look at the news, it's, if it ain't violence, it's weather. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. go to sports. You even go to the education system about those uh, those actors or actresses who paid their kids wages. Yeah, or something like, like man. Kind of, you know. It's a lot of stuff going on. Like, what, Now, what do you think should happen to people like that? Because if a, a student athlete is caught taking money, they may get banned from the school, period. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But what do you think should happen to some people I'm like that? I'm surprised that people are surprised that people with money do shit with money. Right. That you, shouldn't be no know, shot. Like, that's like, that goes all the way back to, like, Clinton. Like, everybody, oh, my God. He has sex in Oval Office. You yeah. think there was a president uh, that didn't? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you shocked about the wrong right, stuff. Right, right. Real um, tough. One of the things that they talked about in the news, they said, look, the irony is if I hand you cash, then that's a bribe. You, hmm. That's wrong. You're going to jail. If I donate a $4 million building, however, then my kid gets in, but that's okay because, you know, that's, that that's a, a donation. donation. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just donated something. Yeah, I, I was I writing donated. that off for my you know, taxes. That's all right. That's, that's, and somehow that's, my kid got in, too. Yeah, and if I, I establish a scholarship fund, that's not a bribe. No. It's a donation. It's me helping other kids Chancellor's out. board, you know, Legacy Foundation. All these things is the same concept. Mm -hmm. Cash changing hands. But we put these little parameters around it so that we can have a greater level of control. That's so that even if you have money, we still hit those limitations. Absolutely. You got to learn the loopholes, man. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Down on our level, we know about the front door, but yeah. it's always another way in, mm -hmm. and that's what the people with money know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why they're talking about the back door when we started off. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 we're, and we're talking about financial and educational stuff, well, not the other back door that these perverts are uh, out there uh, to, thinking about. <laughs> you know? I mean, and you got to say it nowadays because you got a lot of weird stuff going on. You know, you got uh, <laughs> you got necrophilia, oh, you got uh, oh, <laughs> animal oh, sex, man. you know, all kind of weird shit going on. And that's how you become president, ladies and gentlemen. And that's how you become president. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I would love to sit in uh, office of presidents from different countries. 
Yeah. With, with not, you know, not with our president there. I would love to sit there and hear how they talk about our president. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, man. you wouldn't. Like, 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 man, I would just love to hear that conversation. Yeah. Do they probably talk like brothers on the street? Man, check that fool out. That, you know what I'm saying? They got a different swagger around the world. Oh, Absolutely. Man. Probably especially since he just called people animals. Oh, man. People trying to claim asylum. Yes. And yes. people are making a point like, that's the type of language people use prior to committing a genocide. Like yes, it dehumanizing is. Dehumanizing individuals, and then everybody is slightly okay with what's happening to them. That's the truth, though. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's crazy. That's, that's military 101 right there. You know, average 18-year-old has a problem shooting somebody, but you call them, you know, oh, that's the, the zero, that's the Jap, that's Charlie. That's right. The first thing you do is dehumanize them. Absolutely. Yes, and that, that's what's crazy about the military, too, in the sense that you program people to become killing machines in the right. Army, but you don't deprogram them. Nope. There's no, de-pro- no deprogramming. Nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they deprogram them, all right. They send them home with a, with a mental illness and to let them live on the street. Yeah, you're going to deprogram, all right. Right. You're turn to cocaine. That's what that's what a lot of them <laughs> doing. Hell, they can't get the red medicine they need from the VA, so they go down the street and get the medicine they don't need. Oh, <laughs> you know yes. yes. Give me yeah. an eight ball, please. Give me yeah, an eight ball. Shit. <laughs> you know, I need Viking, and they giving me this other pill. <laughs> you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I saw Real a post uh, too on Instagram that uh, allegedly on Rosecrans and Aviation, like an uh, Asian couple was caught with like assault rifles. And fully loaded magazines of like. I think he's going to swap me. That's down. That's down. <laughs> <laughs> if the riots happen, that definitely will be on the swap. Man, meet. absolutely. That's and, crazy. And weave shops. Yeah, but oh yeah, oh, <laughs> that's yeah, crazy, that's true. man. Like, and you know what? What gets me is you hear a lot. Of, you know, us in LA, we're we're around a lot of different races daily. You know what I'm All saying? The time. Some some races, some people never even heard of. You know? That's right. But um. And it's, it amazes me how you hear other races who come from third world countries who down talk African Americans. Yes. That shit trips me out, man. Yes. And I say that because I went into the store the other day. It was a lady. She said she had a shirt on said proud, proud to be Honduran or from Honduras. Mm-hmm. And it was a black lady in there with her daughter. And um, I had seen a lady sticker on her car that let me know she was a county employee. She was just dressed kind of raggedy. Yeah. But the lady got on her, you know, like calling her a B, you, you, you bum, you in here begging. And she thinking the lady was begging because she couldn't find her change in her pocket. You know, taking time. What? You know, and I was like, oh, wow, man. And I said, it's just shocking that you just come at this lady like that. You know, yes. don't know nothing about her. I, yeah, I had this personal thing happen with me. Man, I used to uh, work as an engineer before I got into teaching because um, mm-hmm. my degree is in physics and I lived out in Redondo Beach and I remember one day a guy comes up to me and um, I had received a Hall of Fame award and I had a guy come up to me and I went to a professional shop to have it framed. The guy comes up to me and he wanted to reframe it and do a certain type of mounting. He's like, I can tell that's an important document. So while we're talking, mm-hmm. this lady comes out of this blimpies and tells me to move away from in front of her shop. She's tired of people begging and asking for chicken. <sighs> <laughs> went through the whole yelling and screaming and then went back into the shop. I told the guy, I said, excuse me for a second. I went into the shop behind you. I said, you, I need to see you right now. Yeah. I'm busy. I'm the manager. No, you're not. You working at Blimpies. You coming out here right now. Yeah. <laughs> when I pulled her a little behind out, I told her, I said, first of all, I'm a resident of Redondo Beach. I own property here. Not to mention I'm an employee here. Relate it all out for her. I said, you watch who you talking to next That's time. Crazy. This is my neighborhood. Yeah. You, are, you a visitor as an employee. This is my neighborhood. <laughs> but she sure did. Like, just yelled, get away from there. You they don't, they don't be sitting at our tables outside. You don't get in my neighborhood. How about that? Yeah, that's because people are programmed too, though. <laughs> they pro- they, they program to look at us a certain way. I mean, when you see all type of images on the news and then uh, all these stories and stuff, people are like, they assume that we are what they say we are. I just seen a uh, Boosie, yeah. Lil Boosie posted a post of uh, the Little Rock, Arkansas. Their yeah. news station created a story saying that uh, his concert coming to their city could pose a threat, that he performed in L.A. and it was a shooting. Who? Lil Boosie. Bob Boosie? Oh, okay. But the video they showed, <coughs> it was another rapper performing at a motorcycle club. It wasn't it was even him. Sh- it wasn't even him. Was he? They were black, I bet. They wow. Both yeah. Yeah. yeah, it <laughs> wasn't even him. And it was like, we say Jay, uh, Jay-Z could be performing, <laughs> and they pull and say, look, we don't want Boosie in here. You know? <laughs> it wasn't even his show. So I'm like, that's crazy, and that's wow. dangerous, too. Yeah. That's irresponsible information. But nowadays, 
we hear it, we take it in, and then we don't research nothing. We don't research nothing. No. We Especially with social body. media, because it's oh. too easy to just let it run. You Way know? too easy. Yeah. In situations like that, we need to go to that uncle. Everybody got that one uncle. I got that one uncle that figures, and I said this before, everything could be handled with a hot slug. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I say this because I took my uncle to get his prescription filled. <laughs> And the lady said, listen, you only, uh, you only authorized to get two prescription fields. We gave you a third one because we see you in pain. Now you're coming back for a fourth two days yeah. later. She said, I'm not giving it to you. And he says, I bet if I bust a cap in your ass, you'll give me that damn uh, prescription. And I'm like, you can't solve everything with busting a cap and putting a slug at somebody. And I'm like, it didn't quit there. Now everybody know Rite Aid, which used to be thrifties. You know, they had some yeah. of the best ice cream in L.A., yeah, you man. know? Legendary. Mm-hmm. Legendary. So he went in the right, eh, right there on uh, Slauson. Now, this was a while ago. He went in there, and the lady said, uh, here you go. I didn't ask for one scoop. Well, yes, you did. I said, you did ask for one scoop. No, nah, no, nah, now nah, you calling me a liar. See, look, I, oh, bet, if no. I, put, I bet if I bust a cap in her ass, <laughs> she'll put that second scoop. I'm like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> and then you got the little security guard over there with his little Smith and Wesson. He ready to pull it. Like, he waiting. You know I'm like, you on your own, man. <laughs> you know? hey, how do you feel, though? How do you deal with that? All right, Redondo Beach is... Uh, primarily a, a Caucasian area. Anyway, oh, absolutely. Right? So, like, how do you deal with living in that environment? Fuck with people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quick and simple. <laughs> fuck with people. That part. You have to enjoy your life and be comfortable in who you are. And the way I do that is, I love walking into a room full of white people and just go up to absolutely everyone and say, "How you doing?" <laughs> How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Kill him, how you doing, buddy? Kill him with kindness. How you doing, buddy? Good to meet you. Good to see you. How you doing? Oh, shit. You look like the Columbine guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> but you, you know you what? You got to give him that signature pat. Yeah. Like, an older, older black dude of mine. Shout out to Dre. He told me low-key that's like passive racism. That pat is kind of like, hey, boy, <laughs> son. And I was like, no shit? Are you no, kidding? no, no. It's only racism when you say, how's it hanging? <laughs> How's it hanging? What they say is the white guy say low and to the left. What you mean? That shit uh, is crazy. Man, well, you know what, man? But it's so crazy. Me spending a lot of time down south, you know, I've been down south a lot. You went down south? Shout out to everybody in Houston, Pine Bluff, Shit, Arkansas. Welcome back. I'm glad you made it. Beaumont, Texas, <laughs> Podar, to Texas. You know what I'm saying? That's and I will say stars this. stars and bars on hey, the shirt, huh? Man, hey, I, hey, I will say this. <laughs> That, and, and people don't believe me. <laughs> we got a call earlier today. I'm going to finish oh, this the call. Out, man. <laughs> he bringing them out. You on the line with Hood Humor Radio. Who is this? Uh, this is the Deacon. Oh, shit. This is our buddy, the Deacon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Freaking Deacon. What's uh, going on, bro? Uh, 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 how, are the children, how are the children doing today? We are blessed, sir. Blessed indeed. Even more blessed that you called. Well, you know... If you guys can do what I do and sustain in your simple ways <laughs> and don't and don't and don't blink, you guys will be headed where I'm headed. <laughs> well, this is Thanks a married man sitting in the <laughs> so you must be talking to me and my boy <laughs> as always. Um, um, let me tell you something, sir. Okay, go ahead. You were blessed. With your slung for two reasons, and two reasons only, sir. It's fucking and that's to urinate and procreate. That's it. It's not. It wasn't given to you to boink and to feel good. It's not. It wasn't given to you for that. So should I okay? take? Should I take like the turkey based route in order to procreate? Or Deacon, you basically influencing me to cut the Johnsons off. Is that what you no, say? No, no, absolutely not. Oh, okay. I'm influencing right. them to get married and to procreate. That's how you procreate when you're married. Not uh, <laughs> to your girlfriend. Not to a girl you meet on the street. You see some girl with a big um, derriere walking down the street going back and forth, and you decide you want to take your slang and insert it into her just for a happy feeling. For a, But um, you, you uh, wasn't for, married when you had your daughter, right? Huh? You wasn't married when you What's had that? your daughter, though, right? I was the deacon then. <laughs> now, hey, for, Ain't for, that a female hey, for, 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 <laughs> those, for those who don't know, the deacon has not had sex in over, what, 22 years. That's correct. 
20, well, actually, it's 24 now. 24. 24. Well, see, I, that's the yeah, last time yeah. he updated it, so it's 24 now. Yeah, yeah. But praise, I, I, I refuse to have it until I'm married. But praise naked. Hey, That's Deacon, you got said. a few people praise online naked? telling yeah, you to shut up. You know what? <laughs> Where's this church? Sinners. <laughs> they're sinners. That's exactly what they are. Deacon, you know the brother asked nice where your church is, man. Door with women? Some of those guys, I'm pretty sure, will be on Big Aurora Boulevard <laughs> spending their money unwisely for goodies from those women. Mm. Mm. And that is mm. sick. Well, I put it to you like this. Sick. If you're on Figueroa thinking you're spending your money on goodies, you're not. You're paying to catch something. So <laughs> you better leave your <laughs> chicks alone. That's, you know well, I mean, That's memento. Like, like, a good, <laughs> like, a, like a good friend of mine used his, used his uh, slong to uh, bust girls in their brown eye <laughs> in third world countries. Some guys like to throw their dick on the table, on the crap table. <laughs> it's some good of, idea. Some of them crap <laughs> <laughs> Some of them don't. You know what I mean? You remember I mean, you like, said. Remember you said you did that that time you called in and you was with a young lady and you said you threw your dick on the plate. And Pete said, "How you know about fig?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say that. Well, huh? He said it. He said it. Was this part of a gambling pot? Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> Man, what kind of kind of is that? Huh? If I said something similar to that, you what know why? Said? Because I was at. Uh, a gathering. Guys are drinking <laughs> alcohol. I don't have no more Naturally, money. Alcohol but I got has fumes right coming out of it, and the fumes from the alcohol might have made me slightly alleviated. <laughs> so, so you was drinking yeah. recently, even though you said you don't drink. What did I just say, weirdo? I said the fumes. <laughs> fumes. Oh, the, the fumes. alcohol. Hey, alcohol hey, made fumes. me slightly fumes. alleviated. Hey, 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 Deacon. We got Barry who said that nigga on the phone needs to shut the fuck up. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> then you got Musgrave who said nothing is wrong with a little recreational side of me. And then Michael Palmieri. Now, this is the guy that used to steal our lunches at the airport. Oh. He said, uh, butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the three guys that you mentioned are three of the sickest human beings ever to walk the face of this earth. We ain't checked your phone. And they're not wanted <laughs> to right. my, in my church. Oh, I'm on the same feed. Pe Excuse me? No. We didn't mean to interrupt the deacon. I forgot but you could hear I'm, me. It, you're a sick man. You're a sick man, Mr. Black. You're, you're a sick man. Hey, hey, and, hey, and, deacon. And, hey, deacon. You know, this gentleman we got sitting right here, he's also coming out of the Crenshaw area. This man was from the Windsor Hills area, which is around the Crenshaw area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Uh, 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 well, he grew up where I grew up. That's right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My wife uh, used to yeah, live in yeah. Windsor Hills. Yeah, 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 yeah. I stayed on Laredo oh, Way. Yeah, Looking down, brought her back to like Earth. Me. <laughs> Excuse me. We brought her back to Earth. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got her out of there. We, I, I believe is, is that guy with you. Is, is he a Chris or is he a sinner too? Who? Uh, is there a difference? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big difference, sir. <laughs> there's a there's a big difference. Because I, I am familiar you, with the uh, may, uh, Christian Crusades. I am familiar with the Christian yeah. Bible of slavery. I'm familiar with a lot of Christianity, sir. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really, really. Uh-oh. Yes, I, I, I expect that from you, sir. I expect that from you. So since you know a lot about things of this nature, you must know a lot about your history then, right? Absolutely, sir. You know what? Okay, um, you don't mind if I ask you a couple of questions then. Round one. Be my guest. <laughs> All right. Would you, what, what is your name again, sir? Grandmaster Dennis Wesley Horton. Dennis Wesley Horton. Okay, a real wise man, Mr. Horton. Mr. Horton, can you tell me where the vast majority of African Americans derive from? Africa. Anyhow, let's go to another subject. But, 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 as I was saying, most people don't know about their culture. Most people don't. Agreed. And that's not just us. That's not just us. Most people don't. Most nationalities don't. And, and that's true. And you, and you know what, Deacon? That's like I recently shared a post on social media saying that black lives should start uh, mattering to black people. You know what I mean? Like, that's right. You, you yeah. got to look. The number one killer to another black man is a black man. And it's so crazy that a lot of people say, oh, these white guys don't know shit about us. Hey, they study more about African-American history than the average black person. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and 
A lot of them don't know about their history either. Hey, Deacon, and the and ones that do know, the <laughs> ones that do know, they don't tell the ones. Oh, shit. they don't tell the ones that that they don't know. In his background. They don't want he them to know. Right now. <laughs> hey, Deacon, we hear some noise. <laughs> Mr. Black said you got somebody in the background. What's going on over there? Oh, that was my girl. She was uh, she was telling me I was talking too loud, so I had to leave out the restaurant. Oh, hey, and he yeah. he not your type of pro black. His his wife is is black. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he got you beat. Who, who, who wife is black? He ain't no, he ain't no Donald Glover. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 has, he actually keeping it real. He got a black wife. I'm looking at her right now. <laughs> You, you know, know a lot of y'all brothers be like, yeah, black, hey, black, 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 black. Who is that white woman? He, oh, that's my girl. He, girl. He, <laughs> I told he, you to stay in the car. What did you say? They get turned up there. They be right over there. I'll be he, there. He, he, he tell him, he, my, my, my woman is darker than the sea floor, my brother. <laughs> so we, we, we don't, I, I don't flip like that. Oh, you know she's darker than the sea floor? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, man. Exactly. If she smile at night, I only see her teeth. <laughs> but you know what? That's, you know what That's how I roll. That's how I roll. You know what I mean? That's how I roll. That's how I love her. You know what? You know? If, if anybody else wants to call in and have comments or questions, y'all can hit us up at 213-270-1969. Don't let the deacon run you off. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, any of you guys that are listening, you can go to 1524 uh, St. Andrew's Place. That's where my new... Uh, congregation resides on Sundays from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. He has on a, a ATM machine inside the church. Next door connected is a liquor store and fish market. So <laughs> when, you, when, when you have a 10-minute break, you can call in your order and get that red snapper dinner and a shot of that, uh, a shot of that bourbon and go back in there. And if you don't have cash while you're in his service, they do take cash out. Cash. Hey, some churches are taking cash out right this, now. This is, coming, this is coming from three guys who thinks it's okay to use their slongs at tea bags and dip them into women. Ah. Y'all three sick individuals. How you think I got married? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> she shot too. Huh? Her jaw dropped. <laughs> His wife's jaw dropped. Like, wait, what? What you are you saying? pole, man. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I, I mean, where my girl at? I, I, I'm I, a foreigner I, this episode. I can't it. You know, I, I, I can't dispute the brother that got a wife. You know, you got a wife, you can do that. Yes, but sir. the yes, guys sir. that without a wife that do things like that, where they're going, <laughs> I assure you, there won't be no lemonade mixed with tea there. Uh, well, okay. you, you talking about it's Cancun? Because they got tequila <laughs> mixed with a little tea. Sick weirdo. <laughs> you're, you're a sick freak. <laughs> you're, you are a sick freak. That's, that's, why I, that's why I keep all my members away from people like y'all. Because, you know, majority of the members are, are women. And, and they've been misused by people like Man, you guys. That's right, dude. And, and that's why. Uh, Are you agreeing with this fool? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you keep running what? your church like that, you're going to be the doorman in hell. Hey, I will, <laughs> hey, I will say this, Deacon. And you know this story is true. You know, back in the day, I was a raging alcoholic. And my buddy Deacon picked raging. me up from the AA meeting. <laughs> And the Rage. first place he That's took right. me was to Bethmo and said they had a sale on alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what type of shit is this? <laughs> and we bought a fifth. <laughs> that was Passover. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't alcohol, it was wine, son. There and you the go, wine see? is what you drink <laughs> when you're sitting over there in church. Well, they say good red wine. Mm -hmm. You don't fill everybody yeah. shot up with night train in the church, <laughs> and you give them a you, you forget that communion cracker, that little white shit you had in your pocket. And everybody in there high. <laughs> now I'm always kidding. Maybe you what? forgot. Maybe you forgot the color of ripple. It's red. <laughs> ripple. Do they still yes, make ripple? Is. Yes, sir. Is. What now? What yes, concentration of it has to be wine, though? I mean, ten percent, twenty percent. Like, what else can you put um, in there? Uh, well, I, I, you know, I figure at least at least forty forty percent. All right, it can work with sixty percent. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what the hell? <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you guys got one of the sinnerest persons ever created on this earth. Say that word and again. I, 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 one of the sinners. <laughs> if it's a word, one of the worst. He said, is that a word? 
That's like Carl. What that's like Carl Lewis when he sung the national anthem. Oh man! What this guy represents. He it would burn to the You know what? He probably was the guy that walked through Louisiana four days ago, and the three black historical churches burned down mm. just from him walking by him. Did, just who, by who him was walking by. Him. Who was that guy? You know, huh? Who was that guy? The guy that's sitting there with you guys. Well, that, couldn't, <laughs> that couldn't have been me. That church has got too much money. I wouldn't burn them down. Right. You got to rob them first. Yeah, man, Sunday nope. too. Oh, you know, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Chicken and cash? Come on that, now. That, that same man that's sitting down there breaking bread with y'all <laughs> would probably boink a woman in the church because he's sick. Hey, some like sick I said, individuals in this world. my wife is down with it, it's sanctified. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! <laughs> he you served you, man. He said it. You said it earlier. He said it. You did say that. Yep, Joe did. Now, now, is that, now hey Deacon, do you say that's wrong if a man and his wife, just say any man in the world, or even the wife, she wants her husband right now at that moment? If they in church and they go to the restroom, is that a problem? If they yes, have sex in yeah, the absolutely. church, bathroom? in the house of the Lord, yes, it is. <laughs> you got ample time to do that kind of messy. Filthy stuff at home stuff, in a, in a movie theater <laughs> at a drive-in. There's a plethora of things you can places you can go. You got to drive you away to Ontario for like a drive-in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why, so why is it nasty and messy if it's husband well, and wife? What if we came to the deacon's house and he was having a shindig and we snuck off to the restroom and, and blessed the bathroom? Hey, if, kitchen. You, <laughs> you know. You know what? You know what? <laughs> As long as you're married, it's okay. But if you're not married, it makes no sense. <laughs> See, he said it's okay. Well, take one of his face towels and then hang it up neat. <laughs> oh, that's some shit. <laughs> what you say? Your, your, your wife said, let me wipe myself off real quick. <laughs> then put his towel back up there. <laughs> <laughs> Deacon gonna get a surprise in the morning. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Have you one of you Wash guys ever heard of Doctor Phil? Right. He can go back to my uncle. Man, man the first person I catch, I'm gonna bust a cap in there. <laughs> oh man, sick weirdo. Uh, we, hey Deacon, man, we appreciate you calling in, man. Save a shot for us. Well, well, whatever, weirdo. I've never seen that like that. <laughs> I'll be in the back of the pew next Sunday. Like 1500 block of St. Andrews. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Do you Please have come pews? by and visit me in my congregation. Yeah, that's all right right there. All I right, like Deacon. That. Thanks, man. All right, my brothers. All right, be easy, bro. Stay up. Eat them oysters you got over there. <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother Deacon. <laughs> That's my boy, the deacon, man. You know, he, he told me one time, how do I tackle high blood pressure? I said, you got to get on more vegetables and stuff like that. Then the next day, he came with like a, a fried catfish platter. He <laughs> 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 had everything fried. You had fried calamari, fried shrimp, fried oyster, fried red snapper. You had fried catfish. I said, damn, he had the, ex- the hush puppy extra fried. <laughs> <laughs> did you tell you? Did you tell you the vegetables was in the hush oh, puppies? Yeah, yeah. I know the vegetables in there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, that's a good question. Does that qualify as a vegetable? Yeah, real. Technically, All right, it should. Right? I mean, it's like kale, right? Like kale. It's, it's like kale. You know, they make Spanish. a lot of butters out of it. You know, and um, and this is to anybody. You know, marijuana is not illegal anymore. People, you know, what I'm saying 21 over to use it. But uh, we know on the state level. On the state level, state if you level. wanna if you wanna play a joke on a family member, you know what I'm saying? Marijuana won't harm nobody. There's no been there's been no medically related death to use of marijuana on file. Here's yeah. the problem with that. Everybody says you didn't die, so it didn't harm you. But I've had five children overdose in schools in front of my face. But you know what? Really? It's yeah. what they putting in oh, that wow. weed, that joint they rolling. Yeah. And another thing. The too. last time was uh last year actually. Mm-hmm. We had a young lady in English class pass out. And they called me up. I go in there. I check her pulse. Her pulse is super elevated. I mean, like, going. Yeah. And get her up. She's talking super fast. Passes out. Up, down. They call 911. Ten paramedics wheel her out of her. Strapped to the gurney. Eyes rolling in the back of the head. And we had just told a girl who was trying to do a science project on how marijuana is harmless. And I'm like, see your friend? See how he was in her way? See how she spent three days in the hospital? That's your harmlessness. You can overdose on THC, because like any other chemical, it can harm you. Yeah. Right. And THC. she was uh, apparently doing edibles 
and oh, shit. and that's that's pure yeah. THC. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. and then you have a lot of different things like waxes and stuff like mm-hmm. that. We saw a video online. Somebody at a at a weed shop hit a wax. Big dude. I don't know if y'all saw it. Mm-mm. I shared it on my social media. He uh <laughs> he took a hit of wax and he just coughing and coughing and then passed out. Oh you know? yeah, I saw oh. that before. And I was like, damn. But you know that stuff, that wax stuff and all that stuff that has a little chemical in it. That's not pure. Grass marijuana. No, it's not what it was in the seventies. People are trying yeah, to make it. Yeah, weed is strong you know, as bigger, shit now. Bigger, stronger. You know, that's that's how, it's like technology. Absolutely. You know, we, we don't keep advancing, Absolutely. advancing because that's that's where the money is. What the happened to is. stress? Men can't get a dime back of stress. <laughs> a dime back of stress. Yeah, you know, let me get. <laughs> I ain't yeah. got the dub. Can I yeah, get some yeah. cheap AZ today? They're like, oh, this stress made my head hurt. Nigga, you give me the take stress. Two nigga. pulls, three pulls, yeah, and your head will start hurting. Oh me, two Come on, man. Them niggas be puffing on shit like God's house shoes, nigga. I don't. Yeah, like, like, That's too high for me, nigga. This, this shit is $50 a crumb. Like, no, yeah. I don't need that. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, Kamikaze dude, spider. Like, nigga, oh, I don't want to Man, I had to do tell me, like, man, it's 400 an ounce. Wow. I said, that's gold. That ain't weed. Right. <laughs> that shit is 14 k right there. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Gee, 400 an ounce, I'm cool, man. That's when I resort back to my uncle, man. He go to the weed <laughs> shop. He get his goddamn bag of weed. How much old? He got like $20 counting. That shit would be 575 I bet if I bust a cash in the ass, that price would go to $20. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <man. laughs> you want to take your uncle yeah. on that run, though. Yeah, I take him on that run. She said, you know what? This time we can uh, make an adjustment. <laughs> on oh, me. Now, you said you, you got a degree in physics? Yes, sir. Oh, wow, man. Yes, sir. So, so what did you do before you became a teacher? I actually was an engineer for uh, Northrop Grumman. Oh, so really? I worked with oh, the Department wow. of Defense. We built megawatt-class megawatt class laser systems. Oh, really? So you can go online now. It's been declassified. Um, but we have what's called THEL, which is the Tactical High Energy Laser. And um, you can read all about it there. But uh, So I had an opportunity Thale? to, like, I live the life, which is they say go to school, get your yeah. education, get out the hood, the whole nine yards. <laughs> and step by step, that's what I did. Right. You know, so I went to college, and I Stayed the course, you know, went and got my college degree, and five months after that, got hired by this great big corporation, and 24 years old, I buy my first house, and I'm like, man, this is cool. Right. 27, I buy my second uh, condo in Redondo Beach. Oh, nice. And I'm like, man, this is cool. <laughs> like, literally. All right, sister. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I was, see you. <laughs> I was tripping out because I'm like, the amazing thing was, I was 22 years old, yeah. and I had a bag of clothes. That's literally all I owned. Wow. And they were like, you got to come out to Redondo Beach. So I go out there. The human resources lady can't let me in the building because you need badges to swipe in and stuff. So she meets me in the parking lot, gives me this package. She's like, be in San Clemente Monday morning. I'm like, cool, no problem. I didn't know where San Clemente was. Never heard of the city. <laughs> didn't know nothing. So my mentor, uh, Grandmaster Griffey, my instructor, he gave me a bicycle, train ticket. Took my butt down to San Clemente, Union Station. Was down there for seven months. Became a man, buy my apartment, ride that bicycle to work every day, you know. And when I came back, bought a house, buy this place, keep going. Mm-hmm. One day I look up, and like you said, I was like, I'm like, this ain't my community. Right. I need, you right. know, I need to Harriet Tubman. I need to go back and get some more people because right. I can do this. If I did this, you know, anybody can do this. Absolutely. So uh, the company ended up moving to the East Coast. And so when they got bought out by Northrop, moved to the East Coast, I went to my second career, which was always my choice, was teaching. And I came back, and I specifically focused on inner city schools. And my whole message there was just to let young people know, look, nothing special about me. Mm -hmm. I'm just a brother that didn't quit Mm -hmm. and didn't allow myself to get distracted by what's in our neighborhood. Right. Because people always say, well, you know, I grew up on Florence and Normandy. I saw the riots. I saw the Northridge quake. I saw the 87 earthquake. I was there for all that. But I tell people, I said, L.A., has gangbangers, prostitutes, crack cocaine, but you know it also has UCLA, USC, and Hollywood. Absolutely. You decide where you go every and day. People don't realize USC is right in the hood. Man, I didn't know. I didn't know how much they try to hide that until I worked out there, uh, and I worked out there for about a year. And when I was working out there, I thought it was like a lot of white people. Those are Europeans. Yeah. I was sitting there. I'm working in the farmers market, managing the market and stuff like that. You know, a white girl come walking through, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> there go another one, right? Booty shorts and everything. She turned to her friend. She's like, we should first, we should first, we should first. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Salah. Ain't, ain't it so crazy that how Trim you just said you see the white girls out there why. walking in booty shorts? Yes. And it's like considered, okay, it's summer, it's hot. They're keeping cool. But well, it's you, summer. You, they you, do yeah. that shit in the winter. But I'm saying, you let a sister walk right out there that got a nice body, first thing they're going to say, oh, she a hoe. She a rat. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Black you know women why? have been overly sexualized in the media. You know why else? Why is that? When a woman, when a white woman wears booty shorts, it's a small crime. 
Yeah. Yeah. When a black woman wears booty shorts. Yeah. That's 80%. <laughs> 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 the big cry, man. Right you can call a goddamn foul up. Whoa. <laughs> 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 It's like, oh, what happened? It was ass. I just remember ass everywhere, and I didn't. I don't know what happened, sir. Man, and you know what's so crazy? I tell a lot of. Are I you was, drunk? Drunk off ass? Yeah, drunk drunk ass off all of it. I was telling my fiance a lot of women got to get back to uh, especially younger women. Like get back, you know, your morality. You know what I'm saying? Don't lower your standards. Shout out bullshit. to ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm an ass connoisseur, man. I'm a bootyologist. Hey, my brother, let's go, man. Shit. Brandon, Brandon, stop that nigga that a crash looking at her ass. Wow. <laughs> it won't be a shame, man. I'm sorry, I read your shit, man. But did you see that? Yeah, you see that? <laughs> My homie sent me an Instagram some titties. I was like, man, why you sending that trash to me, man? <laughs> see that shit? <laughs> sending that shit to me. Baby fool, man. Get that shit <laughs> out of my inbox. That's baby fool. <laughs> oh, man. <Give> my ass. <laughs> That's an ugly. You know See, what? They talking about you. Hey, I'm saying, I think, he I think, lost his whole train of thought. Uh, like, man, no comment. Man. I think I think that's God's gift to black women. You know what I'm saying? Because the average black woman has they can it could be a small nice one or a big nice one. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And I think some black women are the only race of women who can be like super fat but still have a shaped ass that's not looking all like, you know, them white women, little two eggs at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I have to say <laughs> I, I, I've studied this in depth. As a bootyologist, yes, and sir. I can honestly say that it is an adaptive characteristic of the species, scientifically speaking. Evidence. Pay attention, In order to ensure that the black male has the largest penis on the planet, Play he had to make sure that you got to have a certain <laughs> length in order to penetrate the booty doggy style. That way, you can only procreate if you're nine inches plus, because otherwise, you don't reach the ability to procreate. I think. Right. I think Deacon found an assistant manager. <laughs> the assistant Deacon right here. <laughs> he, he, he found, I mean, because you know, he's like to fill the church up. Right. It's like two billion Chinese, because. It's all yeah. flat. Anybody can get in there. Anybody can get in there. Black people are minority. Why? Because you got to be big to get in. Hey, otherwise you do, you know just hump and cheek and hair. And that's like that's that. real shit though. You know what's so crazy though? I feel for you. See the post online like a lot of black women share that comment or that meme that all brothers want a thick sister, but if you packing a little meat, what do you want a thick sister for? You know, yeah. so all, all y'all brothers need to stop shaming yourself. If y'all packing low, but it's y'all not better not aim big. It's Shit. not wrong with skinny sisters either, though, man. They could... They could pack a punch on your ass, man. Ah, yeah. yeah, they... Well, see, they do... They got an appetite. They, 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 they know they got to work extra for the attention. Mm. They got to do more. <laughs> I'm just being honest, you know. <laughs> what you say? They be hanging on that ceiling yeah, fan okay. doing cartwheels yeah. on your shit. Look, <laughs> oh, look at our... Look, look, all you got to do is look at music, right? <laughs> when last time you heard, a, you heard a song, you know, Tina got a little tiny flat ass. Ain't nobody wrote that song yet. Even back <laughs> in the 90s, Brenda I got like a big old butt. You know? I cannot lie. When, oh, yeah. when you ever heard that? That was nobody Sir Mix a lot back in the day, too. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting on that soundtrack. I like a flat ass. Why dudes, <laughs> uh, white dudes like that flat ass, though. White dudes, uh, what's attractive to them? And like I said, when we say that, we're not being prejudiced. No, we got a lot of white <laughs> friends. Some listening right now. And I got a buddy that's white who told me, man, I no, love to don't. see that thong swinging from the back of a woman's ass. I go, oh, man, what? the hell? Swinging. Yeah, like what, what type of shit is That's that? That's not a woman. She got a G-string and you see the string going like this. That's like, not had, a woman. I had That's two brothers. Two got brothers. a 10-year-old boy in the G-string. True like, story. Boy. He, he admitting some shit. Man, <laughs> true story. Two brothers, they didn't know each other. Both told me on separate occasions they had a white friend and it was like, they like their girl to have a booty like a 12-year-old boy. A lot of you not. I'm telling you. I, he I'm was like, you. I don't know sick stuff. But I just, you How know. How is that not sick? Thank How you. I was like, wait, that, what? That, that, that is. That's, that's like the precursor when they like, oh, not to sound racist. <laughs> yeah, no homo, but. Hey, with no offense, <laughs> Brandon, but. <laughs> I must say. That, that, two that, separate occasions. Yeah, I was like, yo, this shit is. Really? Yes. That's almost as worse as a nigga being on farmersonly.com. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing on there? You know? <laughs> I'm going to come up with strippersonly.com. If you ever want to date a dancer, go to my website. I think strippersonly.com. No. What, strippersonly.com? Has it been done? I think that's been I'm still done. coming out with the club. I, you Chubs. should. You should. The market but, is not fully saturated. And, yeah. and, and you know what's so crazy? Speaking <laughs> a, of that, a, strip a lot club of people. Of all fat men. Chubs a lot of people found, me, found it weird. Why? You know, me being in the <laughs> entertainment, doing music and stuff yeah. like that. I was never a strip club fan. You know, you would not catch me at a strip club throwing my fucking money. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. I would if it was strings on it. Nah, well, Al Bundy strings. Nah. Yeah. Al Bundy did that. He threw that, put yeah. that fishing string on that 20. As soon as he put it in that thong, she walked away. He just tugged it back. <laughs> <laughs> or throw that counterfeit like Floyd. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That kind of fuck all that. I tell you like this: any, uh, all you brothers who want to save money, hell. you know them cats that go to strip club daily. You know what? Just go to the bank, get two hundred dollars in ones. You know what I'm saying? Go to your wife and pretend you at a strip club. But see, you know, you know what, what a what a what a lot of rappers do, especially they perform. You read your book. A lot of times they giving the club their money back. Oh yeah, yeah. They oh, don't yeah, be throwing yeah, it out their pocket. Don't do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yep, so that's true. It that ain't always true. they bread. Yeah. yeah, they show up. To throw money now, and the like, oh, clubs, my club popping. What they do is they throw all the money at the strippers and then rob them in the parking lot. Rob them in the parking lot. <laughs> What'd you say? They pull a, they pull a Myron from Players Club. I always yo, make sure you get home, Diamond. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, lollipop. Let me yeah. holler at you. <laughs> 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 they be, what'd you say? You see that online, them stupid ass names they be having. You know what I'm saying? You got a girl yeah. named Alaska, but she look like oil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And you mentioned a book just now? Your wife got a book? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, actually. You know, my wife is a best-selling author. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, she, hey, she does, watch out. Yes. Power well, couple. She is, a, she is a best-selling author. Yeah. And she does have a book out, uh, Good Girl Pole Riders Club. Good Girl Pole Riders you. Club. Good girl, <laughs> is that the name <laughs> of the book? That's actually, a, that's actually a book, as well as um, <laughs> Resurrecting Mangus. Me and my fiance got to pick that up. Mangus. We got to read that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one's – yeah, that was the first one. <laughs> I'm just, what? That, what? I said something wrong. Pole Riders just, Club. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Said the Pole Riders Club. We look, people support all kinds of organizations, right? Absolutely. Breast Cancer Research, Boys yeah. and Girls Club, American wow. Red Cross. What's wrong with girls riding poles? Not a goddamn thing. It's effect. a form of exercise. Absolutely. In Europe, it's even a world championship event. Did y'all know that? So they be they be know. fucking on TV. In educate Europe? me. Well, we've been doing that. That's not oh, yeah. new. That's I watched that's, some shit the other day. That's called crazy. Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Just make sure you're not watching the little relative on there. You feel oh, me? Like, who the fuck? <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> <My cousin>. ah! <laughs> oh, man. I know how you got printed. It was on Snapchat. It was on Snapchat. <laughs> and you know what? I was saying that the other day, man. Remember 15 years ago before social media really took off? The biggest thing was MySpace, you know? Yeah, I remember but, MySpace. But yeah. now, this shit is Shout so crazy. Shout out to the homie Tom. Oh, man. This shit is so crazy nowadays. Yes. And I'm like, man, uh, what would people do without social media nowadays? Especially the younger generation. Lost. Shit, you saw the pennant when it crashed uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh. Instagram was tripping and Facebook. Everybody was like, yo, what the, the news reported on it. It was so big. What's funny about it, though, is, like I tell my wife, I'm like, all these people sitting home 18 hours a day on the phone. Phone shuts off. They're not going to riot because they don't do shit. Nope. <laughs> It's just like, what? <laughs> what are we oh, doing? no. What are we? Oh, no. Let me find something else to stare at. How am I supposed to talk to somebody? How am I supposed to? <laughs> and, and, if you, and if you call somebody, they won't even answer. They'll text no. you back. Why you didn't text me? Man. Like, yeah. whoa. Like, damn. Like, look, boss, I was trying to call in and say I'm not going to make it to work today. You know, like, shit. <laughs> it take too much. And he mad because he ain't there either. You hey, messing up his good man. time. <laughs> It takes too much to talk on the fly, like to have an actual verbal conversation. You got to think. You got to listen. Yeah. You got to reply. When you text, you can wait a minute. You, you can type. Oh, wait, that don't sound right. Let me delete. Oh, no, that. no, no. You ain't texting the right people then. You know, they had a competition. The, the two could text the oh, fastest. Have man. you seen it? Oh, man. <coughs> I want to know, and I would love to know, somebody need to write a book on this. How the hell do women with fingernails this goddamn long text better than me? Or wipe their ass. How That's do you do question. that? Or wipe their ass. <laughs> like, hey, girl, it sounds like rats running across glass. And, and typing. And they're just typing their asses off. All right. <laughs> now, at her job, she can't type on a damn laptop, but on her cell phone, she like, with nothing but thumbs. <laughs> you know what? Like on Facebook, my fiance said, a lot of people post stuff inappropriate nowadays. Yeah. You know? You can post everything, dick, pussy, and all. And I agree. On Twitter now, they letting you post uh, Isn't that crazy? sex stuff. You know? Yeah. Like, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> that that is crazy. <laughs> like 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 no real talk. Like because I remember also, back in the day, you know. She what also mean? said, "Good girls pole riding club approved." Good girls pole riding club. She approves your wife's book. So they, you know, I, 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 all right, all right. Shout out. She gonna Who ride your pole after the show. I hope so. Moment. Shit, man. <laughs> ride his pole. Put it on Twitter. Now nah, I ain't gonna put it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and public service announcement. If you got tattoos, quit thinking because your head don't show. Don't nobody know who you are. <laughs> that is a perfect example. <laughs> what they I, I've seen that a lot, especially 
dudes with hand tap. <laughs> when you holding that gun and that camera's aimed at your hand. Talking about no face, no case. <laughs> Nigga, I saw that. That was you. Oh, man. I Who else? And then, like, a lot of people got that tattoo. You got the same seven dudes crossed out that the lady in the video had <laughs> all down your thigh. Oh, but, or or I, I hate seeing people with, like, just tattoos that don't mean shit. Like, everything I got on me means something. But I hate seeing people, especially young lady with tattoos, oh, fuck this nigga. He was my ex in 98. Fuck this nigga. He was my ex in 08. You know what I'm saying? Like, come yeah, on, don't put that shit on you. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I talk to a lot of people, but they say it's alcohol that makes them do that. Because, okay. you know, I've studied kanji, which is a Chinese writing system, and katakana and hiragana, the Japanese writing system. Okay. So I see people with the Japanese and Chinese characters. Every time, oh, man, that's cool. I don't recognize that symbol. What's that mean? It means I was drunk when I was 18. <laughs> I literally uh, had that as an answer. I'm like, that's deep. Hey, that was very popular in, like, the late 90s. Chinese writing, yeah, those yeah. I got a couple yeah. cousins oh, yeah. with some of that. Yeah, yeah that and was you walk like, up to them and they don't know what the heck it means <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit ever. Like, like you said, at least study the shit. Right. Right. <laughs> so you for sure, man. That say canned soda, man. Canned soda, like, <laughs> but it looked good. You know what I'm saying? They got the big whatever right here. Not knowing what I mean. I'm a prostitute. Fresh. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, you'd be like, oh, man, what you part Asian? Nah, that shit just was dope. Yeah, yeah. that yep. shit was dope. Yep. You know, I like you know. the way it looked. What do it mean? Well, you know, I don't know. It just had a good color to it. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm I think that's probably why a lot of shops won't tattoo you if you're drunk now. Yeah, they won't do it yeah. if you're drunk. Yeah. Well, Not only that. y'all go to? <laughs> My neighborhood is a requirement. He started giving you really? shit. Really? Hey, <laughs> yeah, let me, let me, let me see your arm real quick. Hey, come on. They get tired of people sliding out the chair. <laughs> I don't want you to move. Let me make sure this shit is up. Yeah, we're going to turn up, man. Yeah. Let me keep this uh, Chinese word, man. That shit is Glazed crazy, donut. man. But, but you know what gets me, though, is uh, people who get meaningless tattoos. Like, you look at some of the artists nowadays. Um, down south, like Kodak Black, some of the tats he got. You look at... Uh, Post Malone. Then you got some of these other artists now. Little something. I don't even know their name. All I know oh, is little man. something. It's all little fill man, in the blank. It's like tats everywhere. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I know some people who got some tats, you know, like Recipes Nip. He got tats on his face, but it meant something saying this and that. But you got these cats. Yeah, you you can got, still see his face. You can still see his yeah. face. You got some cats got bear claws on their face. You know, some cats got they like look like their nose is being ripped off, but it's just yeah, a tat. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, man. But you know why they do that, right? What, what, for, for what? You trying to hide your identity. Your ass got some felonies, and you trying to make sure you don't find your ass. Well, <laughs> hey, 21 hey, Savage got face tats. <laughs> hey, 21 Savage got face tats, and Ice came looking for him. <laughs> shit. He said, oh, no, what a- what the other do you mean? I'm, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> but you know what's so crazy about that situation? A lot of people are like, oh, why they fucking with 21 Savage? You know, I mean... In all fairness, a lot of people may say, oh, yeah, you got to deport them and that, people coming south of the border. Okay, if you got people coming illegal from other countries also, that's right. they, they going to they gonna say that's something right. to you. You know what I mean? Like, that's not saying right. it's a personal issue. I'm glad Jay-Z did what he did, stepped up, tried to show, you know, this and that, what he's doing. But it's like, it's you know, you can't beat the government. I don't give a fuck who you are. That's right. You know, real. let's real recognize real. If you think you're going to outsmart the government, you're not. Nope. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to run from the government. That's why it's called social security numbers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you're not going to run from the fucking government. Man. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's real talk, man. Absolutely, man. How much time we got on the clock? Okay. Oh, we got more time than I thought, man. We got eight minutes. We can talk a lot of shit in eight minutes, man. You you said you study kimchi. Now when you said grandmaster, yes sir, I was like, okay, you you know martial arts, yes sir. I okay. thought you were talking about grandmaster flash. You know what I'm saying? That was a, that was a whole <laughs> uh, uh, shit. Uh, only right? my wife know about the flashing. <laughs> oh, what's that? See on some other flash. Hey, <laughs> the deacon and rubbed off on this man. What's Where the tripod at? Where the yeah. tripod? You got the oil? Let's yeah. do this. <laughs> Chris said online, you can go off the grid. Oh, you can go off the grid. That is true. But sooner or later, some people come back on the grid. Just you know remember, what I'm saying? They had several people that tried that, where they set up the little small houses, solar power, unplug, mm-hmm. and everything. Government came out and was like, you cannot have this on this land because no we shit. regulate all utilities. See, you can't have like a, a unregulated septic tank. Really? Why? Because if you're taking a dump every day for 30 years, you don't think that contaminates the ground? That's mm-hmm. very true. Considering the type of food that we put in our body, right, right. it's like you can't do that because you got water lines running underneath the ground. So you might say, oh, I'm unplugging from the grid. Everybody who's done that has been cited, property seized, all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, shit. I didn't yes, know that. Because yeah. you because everything is federally 
regulated because you cannot pack over 500 million people into one piece of land right. and say, everybody go do what you feel like doing. Just go run them up. Yeah, because we already know what happens in a small area affects something big yeah, long absolutely. term. Absolutely. So when you say I'm off the grid for 30 years and you living off the land, you have affected the land right, in right. a way that you can't see where you are, but there's still long-term repercussions. Right. Because, okay, I'm living off the grid. Who's taking your trash out? Hmm. What you doing, dumping it in the forest for 20 years? Or they burning it? Yeah, like they do say, you see what I'm, yeah, you see what you're I'm saying? You're now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what you doing? You, so you're burying your internal waste material in the ground, setting your trash on fire, and you're looking around at people like, why are you worried about what I'm doing? Yeah. Because what you're doing is affecting the right. area around you. Right. So what, what form of martial arts have you studied? Oh, my goodness. I've been doing it since I was three. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Dope. So um, my school is actually a free program in Inglewood, the American Shaolin Temple. We oh, actually, really? Yeah. I'm third generation grandmaster. My American Shaolin Temple yeah. in Inglewood. And it is free a free program. martial arts program. We've been there for 40 years. Really? Yeah. See, back in the 70s, as you know, the civil rights movement was peaceful yeah. until after you assassinated those leaders. Then you had a more militant approach, right, and you right. had a lot of guys coming out of the uh, Vietnam era. So you had the Black Karate Federation, and you had um, you know, the War, which is uh, by Cliff Stewart. You had Within Arm's Reach, and then you had the American Shaolin Temple. You had uh, also Universal School of Street Fighting. It was all kind of places really? where brothers was training, specifically anticipating this ultimate revolution, right. racially motivated. Right. We're one of the last organizations still out, been there around since 79. So Grandmaster Bobby Parker, Grandmaster Griffey, and now Grandmaster Horton. But it was founded by veterans during the most revolutionary period of America with respect to African Americans. Hmm, that's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. Grandmaster Griffey, I think I'm incorrect, but I know, I'm pretty sure you know the brother they say that uh, actually beat Bruce Lee. Are you talking uh, about Jim Kelly? Or no. Steve Muhammad. Yeah. You're talking about Grandmaster Steve Muhammad. That's the founder of Black Karate Federation. Okay. All right. Yeah. Go, Bruce Lee said he had the fastest hands in martial arts. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We got a call oh, coming in. Late call. Steve Muhammad. Yeah. You on line with uh? Oh, yeah, they watching okay. the show right, right now. Right. You on line with Hood Humor? Who's hey? Right. Turn your shit down. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We got a call coming in. Oh, Steve Muhammad. Yeah. Hey, you gotta turn that down in the back. Turn your shit down. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, we can hear you, but we can hear us too in your background. See, I was calling to calling to talk to Horton on the on the show. You you said what? Yes, yeah, we can hear you. Yes, sir. Oh, they inside. Uh, this doesn't patch into them. Yeah, uh, this is Dennis Horton right here. Yes, sir. What's going on? Oh, uh, I'm blessed as always. How you doing? Yeah, I, just I keep breaking right up. I said, I'm blessed as always. How you doing, brother? Uh, I'm blessed. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm blessed. Is this a uh, C salary? Yes, it is. Yeah, I know that voice right there. That's one of my black belts right there. He's oh, okay. with all, all the dudes from back in the day. <laughs> all, right. all the dudes. Big time black belt. He, he said you won't be DP unless you turn your radio down in the back. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear your radio say? up here. Hey, that dude is not no dog. He's a hey, grandmaster's a cover up. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, the Inglewood Shallow Temple is a cover up for CIA. See that shit, agent? <laughs> I'm uh, 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 cover out right now. Cut the feed. <laughs> He's a hired assassin. <laughs> And he kills everything with the camp <laughs> Oh, man. So you say he's a real American sniper. You're, break, you're, break, you're breaking up. You're breaking yeah. up. I think this is the clan trying to I'm infiltrate the show right now. <laughs> we, and he teaches oh. the art of fighting without fighting. Uh, yeah, because I keep running from the police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say he teaches the art and of he fighting didn't, without he didn't fighting. He started training when he was three years old because he'd never been free. He came out of that. <laughs> he came out the <laughs> he was just born an adult. He was born he was 27 years old. He was just when he came out the room. He came out 27. <laughs> he, he skipped over milk and went straight to steak. Oh, man. That, that's some good thing. He was born with teeth. He had, full, he, had, he had 67 teeth when he was born. 67. So that, that's like a shark, baby. Yeah, he Jeez, started, he right started right like a shark. Shark, 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 baby. Shark. Oh, I know. My little... Oh, hey. <laughs> My wife will verify that's not true. (laughs) (laughs) 
Hey, man, we appreciate you calling. We only got about 60 seconds left, and I want to make sure he's able to get his social media or any information you want to put out there, uh, information to the school, whatever it is you want to promote. Mega Shaolin Temples in Rogers Park, uh, Inglewood, California, 400 Beach Boulevard. Um, We, you know, bottom line is we've been around for 40 years, and it's a community service, and it's an honor and a privilege to be able to serve the community in its capacity and honor my ancestors that way. Can, nice. you, get, can you get an address one more time? We got somebody online who want to know that. Yeah, address. 400 Beach Boulevard. Uh, that's in Inglewood, California. It's Rogers Park. Oh, so, right. oh Rogers okay. Park. Everybody right. know Rogers Park, Absolutely. right? We all know somebody been shot over now, there. Now, is there so. an age limit, a cap? Uh, yeah, don't bring a six-month-old because, you know, when six they old. try to stand them up, they fall on their head and, you know, the parents complain. And Crack their own but we, <laughs> we do five years old and up. We have made exceptions as young as three. It depends on the maturity of the young person. Okay. We got a lot of conscious people, a lot of positive people. Like right. I said, you know, my wife is a best-selling author. I'm a physicist. We got a real estate mogul. We got movie nice. producers. We got professional dancers. We got all kind of people come in, and they just give into the community. Nice. You know, what do you need? That's what we're here for. What about older people? Yes. Uh, yes. Too. All right. All right. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We out of time. You know where to follow us, and we'll be back next Sunday. Thank you, brother, for hey, coming. Thank you for the it invite. Appreciate Absolutely, it. Absolutely, man. Big time. Holla at y'all. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? This your boy, Honey P, with my boy, Brandon Black. Yeah. Check us out every Sunday from 5 to 6 on Hood Humor. Yo, B, tell them what they can expect. Tune in for comedy skits, prank calls, and our hilarious hood opinions on news and entertainment. You think it, and we say it. We'll see you at the party. If not, we're going to turn our back on you like a bad father. Drake, Drake, is that you? <laughs> and you don't stop. Keep, keep it on.